A couple weeks ago, I made a video on the Ploppy 3-2 roulette system, and Mr. J Garbo asked me a great question in the comments. He said, why not bet the column that has the most black numbers as opposed to the column that has the fewest black numbers? And that's such an awesome question. It's exactly what I made this channel for. I program 100,000 bots to play roulette strategies, and then I analyze the results to see how much they won and lost. And that's because we all know that the house has an edge over the players, and over time, all strategies are eventually going to lose. But if you are going to play, I think that you should know what might happen. Like, what is the universe of possibilities that are out there? And that's why I do this. It's really to give you the information and the power so that you can decide to play the game or not and play exactly how you want to play. Let me explain the strategy first, and then we're going to get into the analysis. And this one is pretty cool because it's not what I expected. The original Ploppy 3-2 system has three units on black and two units on the top column. So with $100 units, that gives four ways to hit the $350 jackpot, 22 ways to win $50, and 11 ways to get whacked and lose the whole $250. On a single zero wheel, that's an expected loss of $6.76. The alternative is to put those two units on the middle column instead of the top column. That doubles the chance of hitting the $350 jackpot, but it reduces the chance of hitting the $50 win, and it increases the chance of getting whacked to over 40%. But notice this, the expected loss is exactly the same. It's still $6.76. If you played this infinitely many times with an infinite bankroll, that is what you could expect to lose every single spin. But you and I, we live in the real world. And I can guarantee if you walked into a casino and played this, you would not lose $6.76 exactly. It's not even possible. So what is possible? And that's where the bots come in. Here's the experiment. I gave 100,000 bots a $1,000 bankroll. They're gonna go for a $350 win goal. So if they actually hit it right away, they hit one of those blacks on the middle column, they are done. And they'll continue playing until they either lose it all, or they're gonna play for 30 spins maximum, whatever comes first. I'm gonna show you a very quick demo, and then we're gonna look at all kinds of data, and we're gonna compare the original one to the new one. We're gonna see how often the bots won, how much they won, and a whole lot more, so stay tuned. Okay, here's a replay of one of the bots that was playing the Ploppy 3-2 system, but from the middle column. Let's see how they did. 36, red. Got whack there. Now notice all the blacks on the middle column, they pay out $350. The reds on the middle column pay out 50. Everything else is a whack. 32 red. 34 red. The bots have $1,000 to play with. Seven red. Ten black. Thirty five black. It's a nice three hundred fifty dollar win there, but it only put us a, puts us at one hundred fifty dollars in profit. So we need to hit a couple more times. Twenty six black. All right, and there it is. So profit five hundred fifty dollars total. That $350 win on the last one, that's what got it there, that 26. So now what we're going to do is imagine that we had 100,000 bots that were doing this. We're going to see that whole range of outcomes, how often they won, how many times they won. Let's check it out. So here are the simulation reports. This is what you get when you order a custom simulation from me. But if you want to read these reports, because I'm not going to go through everything, they are available on thinktank.dicedata.info. Now on the left-hand side, we have the original Ploppy 3-2 roulette system this is the one with that hundred dollar bet on the top column and on the right we have the one where we're using the middle column with a hundred dollar bet so there's more chances to win the jackpot we're going to go through the report and see exactly what we can learn we're first going to look at the actual spin outcomes 
So look at this. On the original version, we had about 10% chance of getting a jackpot. Look at how much this has increased. This is just about doubled up to about 21.7 on the single zero versus 10.8. However, the chance of an overall win has decreased. So that 70.3%, that includes, of course, the 10.8 already, uh, that has dropped down to 59.6%. And the reason for that is because there's fewer chances of hitting that $50 win. Because all of those reds on the top column, those have turned into losers. So now look at the chance of the whack. It went from 29.7% up to 40.4%. So your chances of a jackpot are bigger. Your chances of a whack are also bigger. Another super interesting thing here is that from a dollar perspective, it actually doesn't seem to make that much of a difference. So look at the typical amounts on the original one. So $50, uh, that's still $50 over here. The range for the middle 50%, this is the middle 50% of bots. 50,000 bots throwing away the top 25%, throwing away the bottom 25%. They're between 50 and a $50 win and a $250 loss exactly the same on the top column or on the middle column i should say the middle 90 percent 350 to 250 that's exactly the same and the largest the full range of wins and losses also exactly the same so from a highest level perspective there really doesn't seem to be a huge difference we are going to see it a little bit differently here on this chart though because there's really only three outcomes there's a 30% chance of the whack versus the 40% chance, 59 versus 38%. But here's the big one. That win has increased. The, the nice win of $350 has increased from 11 to 22%. That's fine on an individual spin basis. But what's really important is how they do over that entire session. Remember, these bots, they're trying to win at least $350. We were just looking at the individual spins, but these bots, they're not playing for just one spin. They're playing entire sessions where they're trying to hit that $350 win goal. So how often do they hit it? Well, in the original version on the single zero wheel, they were hitting it 59.5% of the time. That's the amount of, that's the proportion of times where they are winning money. That has increased. It has increased in the new version. In the new version with the middle column, that has jumped up to 64.3%. When it comes to the actual money won and lost, also very, very similar. Typical is $350. The triple zero does actually a little bit better over here. Um, the middle 50% between a $400 win and an $850 loss is exactly the same in both cases. The, um, the very unlucky 90% range, that's the 95th percentile, has increased to $1,000. Um, and the full range is the same. It's uh, The most one is $650. That's the most one that's possible given the sequence of wins and stopping at a $350 win goal. And of course, the bankroll they had was $1,000 and plenty of them lost the entire bankroll. Even though these quantiles, they seem to be pretty much exactly the same, you can see a little bit of a nuance when we look at the actual charts. So let's look at here. We'll zoom in a little bit to the single zero. This biggest column went from 28% up to 30%. Look at some of these other numbers. These are you know 10 to 12%. These all seem to be a little bit higher on the middle column numbers. On the negative side, the worst losses, though, seem to be a little bit higher with the original version versus this new version. When it comes to bankroll, the original version was a little bit more expensive, you know, $650, $750, $800, whereas over here it's about $50 less. It's five or $100 less, I should say, $550 on the single zero, uh, $700 less on the double zero, and uh, $50 less on the triple zero. Um, but once you get up into the higher percentiles, so the unlucky and the very unlucky, we're in 900, 950, $1,000. When we look at betting power, so this is, you know, how long, how many times they were kind of able to recycle their money. For every $100 outlaid, the bots made $443 in total bets on the original system. That drops to only $299 on the new system. And again, the reason for that is there's fewer of the smaller bets. 
So they're not able to kind of like rack up a few smaller bets. They kind of get them in a position to recycle their money more. They're really either going to bust out or they're going to hit their win goal. There's a little bit less in the middle of those two options. Volatility is another one that changed. So volatility went from uh, mild, went up to moderate. And again, a lot of that is just because of the way that the bets turned out. So when you have more of the big wins and more of the big losses, then you're going to have fewer times where you have those $50 wins and that's going to increase the volatility. And we can see that measured in the outcomes of the actual bots from the simulation. So we're not actually looking at it mathematically. We're looking at it from the actual outcomes of 100,000 bots. I also had the bots play this over multiple casino visits. And uh, look at this is actually a pretty big difference when it comes to um, how many bots were able to be profitable over these multiple visits. Now in the original version, look at this, it went from 59%, 37, 29, 19, 11, 4.2, and then 0.3. Well, look over here, this is totally different. After 10 visits, it's still 45% chance of being in profit. After 20 visits, 38.6. 50 vis visits, almost a one in three chance. After 100 visits, 23.6, 215.1, 500 visits, 5.2. That's essentially a one out of 20 chance of being in profit after 500 visits to the casino. Now, of course, that's on a single zero wheel. If you're going to play roulette, you really want to be on a single zero wheel. Once you get into this double zero wheel, look at how much these numbers change. I mean, we start off very similar at 60%. Um, but that drops to 35%, 25%, 14%, 6.5%, and then it's almost nothing. Double zero is doubling the house edge. It's, you know, twice as many zeros. And look at how that eats in. So the more and more you're playing, the more chance the house has to get your money. The house is always going to win, but they're going to win over their time frame. And when they're adding that extra zero, they're able to increase their edge, which means they're going to recoup that money a lot faster. Look at the triple zero. It's even worse by, you know, 100 visits. There's only 1.4% chance of being in profit. So triple zero is just a nasty, nasty thing. And if you like to play roulette, I definitely don't recommend ever playing at a triple zero wheel. I hope you found this interesting. My goal is really to give you true information about what might happen when you go into a casino. And I'm trying to be as honest and forthright as possible. So if you have any suggestions, any comments, leave them in the comment section below. And uh, thank you very much for watching and have great luck at the tables.